So today I'm gonna to show you a demo of utilizing impact radius. So if you're somebody who's new to affiliate marketing and wants to know how to utilize it, we're gonna actually just go ahead and show you step by step here on like kind of looking at brands, kind of applying for them, actually going through some data points and just understanding the website just a little bit more. Now this is the home page of impact radius for us once we have our account up and running. So just some quick things we can see. Uh, we have our account here on the top left. Now I do have multiple accounts here with impact impact for different websites that I actually utilize and YouTube channels that I have similar to this uh, business nerd channel that I have on YouTube. So uh, you can actually click on here and it'll have a drop down menu. Uh, you can see your available balance as well as um, any uh, payments that are going through. You can see right now we have like $596 going into our business bank account. Um, you can see upcoming payments uh, approved but not due. Maybe some companies will have uh, certain payout dates. And then you can see anything that might be overdue uh, for maybe companies that haven't paid yet. Now you also have a snapshot uh, right here. I'm just showing so far at the beginning of the first half of the year. It'll show you things like the amount of clicks, the amount of action that's been taken, the amount of payout that you've actually gotten. Uh, sales amount is kind of hit and miss. Some companies will give you that information, others won't. So I really don't look at this too often um, unless the company actually shows. Uh, you have a conversion rate, which this is super helpful for you if you wanna connect with companies and talk about some information as far as how impactful your conversation with your audience is as far as getting them to not just click, but actually have the conversion go through. And then your earnings per click is how often, you're, how much you're getting paid per click that you have. So you saw earlier we had 10,000 clicks, plus how much we actually got paid out, that's our earnings per click. Now sometimes that can be offset just based off of maybe companies giving you bonuses, which is the case as well too, and that's always a nice thing. Now let me wipe this clean and kind of go over a little bit more information. So we have the homepage, which is where we're at. We have the brands. This is gonna be the most important and uh, thing, most important thing we're gonna be looking at here today. Uh, we also have reports, which is one thing I love doing on a almost daily basis. I just like to see where our numbers are at, get some ideas. Uh, there's also content, I don't really go on here. And then there's also products sometimes companies will give you access to. Now, I usually focus on financial content and business content, so I don't really have access to a lot of content, but nonetheless, that stuff is there for you. On the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you're gonna see right over here, this is gonna be for like settings for your account, uh, maybe changing any uh, business information you might need, addresses, any of that kind of stuff. That's where you're gonna find there. Uh, right over here, you're gonna see the bell. This has uh, some notifications. Sometimes companies will change contracts. Uh, sometimes you'll get updated information like somebody closing out their affiliate, whatever the case may be. Uh, you have a message center as well from some companies, um, maybe any updates you have as well. And then you can create links right over here with the companies you are already associated with. I don't use it from this page. I usually go directly to the brands, which we're gonna click on here in just a moment. So right over here, if I click on brands, you can see, you can say find brands, my brands, invites and proposals. Uh, so all three things actually take you effectively to the same area. So we're gonna click on find brands. And what this is gonna do is this is where you're gonna be able to search for your type of affiliate that you're looking for. Now, I wanna break this down just a little bit. So we're not gonna go into super detail, but uh, here's the example that I'm gonna give you. So you can see on the uh, left side here, you have so many different categories. So depending on what you're talking about on your YouTube channel, website, Instagram, whatever that you want to send out those affiliate links for, you got things like apparel and shoes and accessories. You got things like arts, uh, you have auto, you have uh, baby kids and toys, you have dating and romance, you got education, home and garden, uh, you got pets, you got pharmacy, so uh, sports as well, travel. So you have so many different options and this helps break down the categories for you. So you can look for those companies Companies that would work best for you because you don't want to be signing up for all the companies you want to sign up for the companies that will work best for your brand and the things that will make sense to your audience and what you're trying to promote and make an affiliate from now if you go ahead and click on one of these options so I know sports is obviously a big one so if we click on sports this will actually break down a couple different options as well so we can check back check mark any of these off if we didn't need them. So if we don't do like outdoors, we don't have to have that checked. But as an example, we'll leave all these up for now. And what this will do is it'll bring up a category of brands for you. Now this is set up by launch date. So uh, this is like when companies launched. But if I switch this to just names, just will kind of just help us out, keep things a little bit more organized here. So you can see all these different brands here. Uh, we got companies like Adidas, which is obviously a pretty big brand. Uh, we got a whole bunch of other companies. We got Bass Pro Shop. We got companies maybe you might not even heard of, but they might have a good affiliate. Um, you can see like this one right here has a 15% uh, percent online sales commission, which is pretty solid. Um, so you can check out their website, see if you like their products, and then you can go ahead and recommend them. Uh, but again, you also have companies that are pretty well known. You got Cabela's right over here. 
This one does one to 3%, so maybe you don't get as high as a percentage, but you obviously might get more people because they are more you know, known brand and people wanna sign up with them or go to their website. So here, what you could do is you could look at the details for the actual uh, description of the company. And then what they'll do is they'll have, you know, the way you can actually make the sales. So this is one to 3%. So obviously there might be uh, differences based off of what they're purchasing, whether it's uh, like clothing or different things from Cabela's. And you can see right here, it says 14 days. This usually means that when somebody clicks that link, you got 14 days for them to buy something. Uh, and that will count towards your commissions. After that, then it just kind of goes away. Even if they buy something on the 15th day, you don't get anything. So you can click apply right here. And usually what it'll do, since you have your account already set up, it'll send them a notification that you want to apply. Sometimes they'll ask additional questions or have you look at different things when it comes to signing up. Maybe they have like a terms and agreement that you have to kind of review before you can apply. Um, but then usually it takes anywhere from a day to seven business days for companies to go through and approve you. Once they're, uh, once they approve you, you can go to my brands, and this will actually take you to my brands. Now I'm personally in the personal finance space. So that's what a lot of these are gonna be here is personal finance. Um, so I can go through the brands that I already have and then go ahead and get the links from them. So you can see online sales is 3%. So what I can do is I can click here and I can create my link, which then will be in the show notes down below. So people can go through, sign up, and then I do a 3% commission. I believe it's for like the first like month or two or a couple months um, through that process. So it's kind of a neat way to make money on top of like revenue revenue on like the YouTube ads or any other ways that you're getting money on the platform, because let's just face it, making money just from YouTube ads is not going to be the best route to take. You want to have different forms of income and affiliate marketing is a great way to do that. Now, if you click on more right over here, you can see that they have sometimes different options. So you have ads. If you have like a website, um, you can go on here. Sometimes you can check out the different links that they have because they have different landing pages. So maybe you want customers to go to a certain type of page when it comes to signing up for uh, you know, a service or a product or buying something. Sometimes if you click on the ad section here, it'll take you to those. So if I click really quick on here, I'll to show you what this looks like. So you can see here, um, so we have a couple different links. Uh, these ones obviously are gonna be for websites and then this one is just directly for impact. But again, other times companies will have different types of links for you. Now, uh, I'll just click on a random uh, company here just to kind of go back into this. Uh, so some of the other options uh, when it comes to this is going to be looking at your contract. So if you want to go over things, you can also request maybe an increase in payout. If you're really sending a lot of people in, you can say, hey, maybe you want to request a little bit more per, uh, per person you're sending. You can expire contracts if you want to. You can look at the contract history and then you can do any kind of tracking that you want with those links that you get, which is really cool. Getting um, all that data information is really critical to understanding, you know, which videos or pieces of content are really driving the sales when it comes to promoting a product or a company that you want to work with. Um, you can also look at uh, the applied section right over here. These are companies you may have applied to but haven't been responded to yet. So you can see the little clocks on here waiting. Sometimes companies don't respond to you at all and they're just gonna sit there forever. And then you can also go to ones that actually are sending you requests saying, hey, we want to actually work with you and that, that will be there as well too. Uh, and then you can go to looking at upcoming changes. And right now I don't have any, but if companies are changing their contracts, you'll see those in here. And if you have any favorited, you can do that as well. But again, you have a whole plethora of different companies to, to work with. Um, I personally like to go through the categories kind of that makes it a lot easier to find the brands that I might want to work with. You can also search for them as well too, um, if that makes it a little easier for you um, and see if they're going to be a company that's there for you. So you don't have to go searching for them in all the different categories. So if you want to look for like a specific company, you can just do that in the search. Now, if you click on reports, you're going to have a whole bunch of different options for reports. And again, this is probably one of my favorite things. Um, I like to go to performance by brand. If I go here, this is going to take me to a section that is actually going to break down a lot more information for me. All right. So I actually had to pause for a second because I had to block off some of these uh, pieces of information because they're actually directly uh, related to each brand individually. And some of these companies I can't actually share data points with um, outside of the company themselves. So I just had to block some of this stuff off. But here's an example. Um, so these are my brands that I have. And if I scroll down, you'll see more of them. And what happens is uh, they'll tell me individually for the clicks that those companies have. So I can see the clicks. I can see the actions that those clicks took. I can see the sales amount, which again, don't really have a relevance uh, for most companies I work with. You can see the total earnings that you get with that company and then the earnings per click, which then gives me an idea of like, hey, which companies are giving me the most value per person that clicks on those links? And then if I click into the companies individually, I can see even more data points, such as possibly the websites that I go uh, have them come from. So whether it's YouTube, maybe my Facebook pages, maybe my website, 
maybe from Instagram, wherever I send people from, that's where we're gonna that's where it's gonna tell me directly the domains that uh, those people are entering from, which gives me so much more information to be able to continue to provide value for my customers and the brands that I work with. So that way I'm connecting those two people together. So that way everybody's winning here because it's the customers finding the brands and me helping them connect together and obviously getting paid for that as well because I'm sending them to good companies. Now, one of the biggest things I always recommend when it comes to somebody who's getting started with like affiliate marketing or really building up their small business, whether it's on YouTube or other platforms, Forms, is making sure that they have the right business bank account because the problem is if you're combining your personal and business income, that is gonna be really troublesome when it comes to managing your taxes at the end of every year. So what I actually recommend is always checking out Novo Bank, which is a bank that I love to use and highly recommend for all small business users, especially on YouTube, because it's free to use, doesn't cost you anything. And the greatest thing is, I'll have a link for you in the show notes, which is yes, an affiliate link as well. But this is the company that I actually love to use when it comes to running my small businesses. And once you go ahead and click that link, I'll actually have a video right over here that goes over more details on utilizing Novo as your business bank account. My name is Dennis and I want to help you in that next video.